Hey Paul, what the fuck are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at work? I should be but I called them and told them that my polio was acting up again. Polio. What the fuck is wrong with you? Nobody gets polio anymore. Well aren't you just the bearer of bad news? Why don't you just go down to the mall in December and tell all the kids there that Santa does not exist while you are at it? Why don't you call your job and tell them you were out having a pleasant conversation with Marion next time you miss work as that would be more believable than you contracting polio? Oh please, I am more likely to pass for white than anyone is to have a pleasant conversation with Marion. A black guy is more likely to play defense in a basketball game with a unicorn watching in the crowd than anyone is to have a pleasant conversation with Marion. Speaking of basketball why don't we go to the park and play? Hell no. I don't want to risk getting stuck on your team again. The last time you actually passed the ball people still got polio. Why don't we go over to grandma's house instead? I can go over there as I never bought Marion a Christmas present and if I go over there and run into Marion she will nag me about it. That's retarded we are all adults nobody gives a shit about Christmas presents anymore and nobody would cry about not getting a present 10 months after the fact. Why don't you just go buy her some cheap piece of shit to shut her up like we always do? I have not seen her in months. Why chance it and ruin a good thing? I would say let's go visit Dub's house but he is probably busy shagging his 30 year old wife. I hope he doesn't knock her up. That would be a pretty stupid move after having two mongrels like us. Then again after having you for a child he should have immediately had a vasectomy so his decision making is not always the best. Yes he is the only person ever to be worse at picking a wife than Gary Gaskin. The word cunt was not even in the dictionary before that heinous excuse for a woman Marla was born. Anyway do you have any other ideas to kill some time? Yes. Actually I need to go shopping for a trophy case. A trophy case. What do you need a trophy case for? I want employee of the quarter at Continental Airlines for all mechanics at Newark Airport. Sure you did. And I won the NBA dunk contest. I am dead serious. I could not believe it either. Everyone in my hangar has been laughing non-stop at our inept management since I won this award. Wow, that is an even bigger shem than that overrated cocksucker Derek Jeter winning the gold glove. You were probably the worst employee ever. I would not hire you to breathe there. I couldn't blame you if it wasn't for all of the sleep I get at work I would not have the energy to work out all the time and I would not be in such great shape. The only time you are not sleeping at work is if you are watching television or loading up your normally empty tool bag with stolen goods. That is simply not true. Every third Tuesday of the month I am in charge of cooking on the foreman grill. Oh my mistake I am so sorry for overlooking your valuable contribution to the company. How in the fuck did you win employee of the quarter anyway? How many people had to die before they said Paul Fusaro is the best employee we have? Ha 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 very funny. It is quite simple really. I was trying to catch a flight back from Florida but the plane had a mechanical problem. Normally I would not give a shit. But I had already been late for work seven times that month. Then it must have been the end of the month because you only work eight days a month tops. It was. And the week before my piece of shit supervisor told me if I was late again that month I was going to get fired. And the thought of having to get a real job made me sick to my stomach. I have been at this do nothing joke of a job for so long I think if I had to get a real job I would just blow my brains out. That is a pretty hideous thought. I would rather live in a dumpster than get a real job. Exactly. So anyway I sprung into action and motivated by the fear of having to do actual work on an everyday basis I fixed the plane so we could get back to Newark on time. As luck would have it that scumbag CEO of Continental happened to be on the plane on the way to some big meeting with those shysters from United Airlines and since he made his meeting on time I was named employee of the quarter. My god, you were luckier than that worthless no talent piece of shit Dane Cook. You are probably more likely to pick up a dinner bill than you are to be viewed as a good employee. Better to be lucky than good. To top it off I also got an awards dinner in my honor. For once instead of stealing food from Continental they were actually giving it to me for free. 
I hope they kept a close eye on the silverware because you are reliable to steal anything that is not nailed down. Very funny, I did not steal that much silverware as I normally just eat with my hands anyway. My apartment is going to look so nice with this fancy trophy on display. You must be joking. A disgusting rundown shithole of an apartment that has not been cleaned in years with a trophy on display is still a disgusting rundown shithole.